So I want to leave you with a sort of a roadmap through a mashup. And this is going to be a visual mashup. So what we want to do is make a collaged image. And our mashup is going to be about digital cake. Um, now you're be like, why digital cake? And it, you know, there is no reason. It's just two words that I've pulled together out of, out of the ether. So the first thing that I recommend that you do when you're preparing to do a mashup is to do research. Look into things. Um, start out by what is cake. You can go to Wikipedia. In fact, I would encourage you to go to Wikipedia and look up the different terms that you're dealing with. Read through them. See if they spark any ideas. Figure out what directions they, they give you. From there, um, if you're looking at something like cake, I mean, like, look for cake recipes. Stretch out. Don't stay with one source. Don't stop your research at Wikipedia. You need to go on either to the references that are listed in Wikipedia, or you need to find outside references. Um, get physical. Get dirty with your research. If you're doing research on cakes, you need to bake a cake. And um, that, I mean, that's important because there's a sort of, there, the physical qualities that are associated with it, the putting it together, the, um, the smells, the process are going to have an influence on you. And they may not end up as part of your final, the final project that you're creating, but just having sort of stepped through that, um, you have a firsthand experience that's fresh in your mind. And maybe a digital cake is about the ingredients. Maybe it's about baking it. Maybe it's about um, the ideas of cake or what cake represents in our society. The last thing is that there are chemical processes that take place in the creation of cake. And before you, you look at this and realize these are actually physics constants on this cake, um, so it, it boils down to, like, cr the creation of cake is a physical, chemical process that has specific things going on in it. Um, if you understand the chemistry that happens, the reason that the cake rises, the reason that the cake um, looks and tastes the way it does, the way that it's different from its constituent materials, that's really important. That's really useful in terms of understanding what a cake is. And finally, in thinking about cakes in particular, there's a difference in the form. And cake, I mean, runs the gamut from like a birthday cake to uh, just a quick little pancake that you might make, or to even, even to pancakes, I guess. But then it goes into this sort of artistic sort of cakes that are structured like, like this particular cake that's, that looks like a CEO's head. I can't imagine eating that cake. I mean, it's like, so is a cake always created to be edible? Or is a cake, can a cake be created as sort of a work of art? Now, I've taken and I've gone through one arc here. I've like looked at ideas and ways that you might research and things that you might look for if you're looking for cake. So what are the things that you would look for and consider if you're like trying to do research on the digital? It may be about the devices that you use in your life. It may be about um, the way that you consume media. It may be about the World Wide Web. How do you start to trap that? And once you have like one of your ideas grounded, like we've grounded the idea of cake, how can we start to find the parallels within the digital? What are the ingredients in terms of digital and our digital lifestyles? What is, the, what is it about the chemistry? What is it that makes our lives different? What is it that makes society different when we think about digital? Now, the next step is to go out and start grabbing images, to start creating your basic image. Start throwing images together into Photoshop. And we'll start to cover that in our first exercise. But la and last but not least, I want to think about, like, in terms of like, moving forward and constructing our mashups, 
But what is it that makes a mashup interesting? What is it that is compelling about mashups? Well, mashups are the strongest when the ideas are really distinct, right? When they're different enough that bringing them together creates something new or creates a conversation between the two of them. And they work the best when you take and you combine two things and you end up with something that's much larger than both or something that goes outside of both of these. Um, so wh wh when, you're th when you're thinking about the ideas, when you're choosing the ideas for your mashup, you want to be very specific. You want to um, definitely look for things that are distinct and you want to think about how they're going to come together. And again, we'll also be looking at some different examples and critiquing the way that they were put together as well.